Now where was I? Oh yes. Today's reading from the Bible is taken from the Gospel of Mark. <clears throat> Jesus went over to the collection box in the temple and sat and watched as the crowd dropped in their money. Many rich people put in large amounts. Money, money, money in a rich man's world. Now, let me see, shall I drive the Porsche or take the train? Should I take the bus or should I walk? Oi, what are you lot looking at? Haven't you ever seen a rich puppet before? Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I'm just on my way home. But there's something I've got to do first. I expect you're wondering just how rich I am. Well, compared to me, Basil Brush is a mere pauper. And as for that Thunderbirds crowd, I can buy Tracy Island one, two, three times over. Excuse me, sir. What? Excuse me, sir. I need to get past. What's that got to do with me? I'm afraid you're in my way. Then you'll just have to wait. I'm telling these children how rich I am. Will it take long? Well, since I'm very, very rich indeed, it may take a very, very long time. Oh, dear. Anyway, what could be so important as to be worth interrupting a very wealthy puppet like myself? I'm going to make my offering at the church. What? You're going to put money in that collection box over there? Yes. But why would you want to do that? You're poor, aren't you? The money goes to do God's work, and I want to help. Stand aside, everyone. Rich puppet walking. What are you doing? I'm going to put some money in the collection box. Now, let me see. How much should I give? I don't know. Look, everybody. I'm going to put lots of money into the box. Please take note that I, Henry Ford Smythe Robinson, am putting in lots and lots of dosh. See what a good chap I am. <coughs> what? If I may continue with the Bible reading. Oh, go on then. As I was saying, many rich people put in large amounts. That's me. I've just done that. I'm in the Bible. It must be because I'm so rich. Then a poor widow came and put in two pennies. Two pennies? Ha! I put in loads. Oh dear, I've only got a tiny amount of money. Not like me. All I've got is my bus fare home. Well, never mind. It won't hurt me to walk. Is that all? God's not going to be too chuffed with you, is he? Not after he sees how much I put in. Ahem. <clears throat> Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I tell you the truth, this poor widow has given more than all the others have given, for they all gave a tiny part of their wealth. But she, poor as she is, has given everything she has. What? Now wait a cotton-picking moment. Are you saying this old woman gave more than I did? In God's eyes, she did. But she's barely one step up from a sock puppet. How can anything she does be better than what I do? I'm rich, I'm famous, I'm, I'm fantastic. You heard Jesus. She gave everything she has. But you only gave a tiny part of your wealth. I don't believe it. It's absurd. What kind of world would it be if the poor were more important than the rich? Heaven? Come along, dear. You've had a bit of a shock. You need a nice strong cup of tea. And a biscuit. I've got some jammy dodgers. Oh good, I like those. Well, well, well. You see, God's view of the world is different to ours. It doesn't matter to God how rich or poor you are on the outside. It's what's in your heart that matters. Now, did someone mention a cup of tea and a jammy dodger? I don't care to what the money